Nature is full of fascinating group motion patterns. These patterns are universal. Mammals, birds, fish, and even bacteria organize themselves into very similar coherent flocks, herds, or swarms. This raises many interesting questions. First of all, why and how do these wonderful animals exhibit collective motion, and what can we learn from them? Pigeons are known to fly in a very coordinated way and have a great ability to navigate home. We have recorded tracks of pigeons by miniature GPS devices they carried. Animated videos of the recorded data points vividly visualize the delicate collective decision-making process taking place while the pigeons are trying to find the best way during their flight home. It is almost like a permanent voting process. We at Utrecht University Budapest are studying collective motion. This research is supported by the European Research Council. Collective motion refers to flocks of birds or schools of fish, to all sorts of uh, complicated uh, flight or collective motion patterns in nature exhibited by gregarious animals. We came to the conclusion that one of the best ways to understand how animals move together is to build robots, flying robots, drones in this case. We can control these robots and through the control we can understand that a given factor how it affects collective motion. In this way we understand better pigeons or other birds. But watching and understanding animals, we can build better robots. So this thing goes back and forth. As an exercise toward three-dimensional robotics, we built a pool and experimented with a system of cheap radio-controlled toy boats. These little robots were not autonomous. Nonetheless, they still reached a global, spontaneously rotating motion pattern. About uh, five years ago, we decided that the best vehicles to study area flocking of robots is to build autonomous drones. We bought a dozen of relatively cheap, commercially available quadrocopters that can be controlled with a manual remote controller. We equipped the copters with a homemade hardware layer that turns these machines into self-steering drones. This hardware layer integrates all the incoming data from the environment, from other drones, and creates high-level steering commands, like the actual desired velocity or position. With the proper flocking algorithms fed to this new brain, the copters are able to fly autonomously, which could totally eliminate the need for manual control, and the group of quadrocopters can perform flights and tasks on their own. Despite of the sophisticated and realistic simulation framework, we still had a lot of crashes on the field. So we had to create mechanical protection around the copters. For example, a special landing gear was developed in our lab. Thus, uh, we have decided to build a flock of autonomous robots. A car is not autonomous. Of course, a car can also be autonomously behaving if it has a brain, either in the form of a person or in a, the form of a huge computer equipped with sensors. We had to do this uh, for small flying objects. Prior attempts uh, to produce flocks of uh, quadrupters included an approach which was uh, confined to a given area and the individual robots had to communicate with the central computer outside. In our case, each quadrupter is equipped with a little brain in the form of an onboard computer. They are completely autonomous in the sense that all of the decisions concerning their directions, uh, flights, positions are decided by themselves, calculated based on the information they have uh, 
on their own position and on the position and the velocities of the other drones. In this way, the whole flock becomes autonomous. And in addition to being just a simple set of autonomous agents acts together collectively and the performance of such a flock is way beyond just being a simple sum of the individual performances. After the drones were instructed to form a circle, each drone finds its position along the circle. Even the direction of rotation is decided collectively by the positions of drones before the circle formation. If drones receive an external command to change the shape of their formation, they are able to reorder autonomously into a line, segment or a grid. Drones must actively compensate for all kinds of disturbances like wind, GPS outages, vibrations induced by the rotating propellers or the delay in the local communication network. Therefore, we started our project with realistic simulations that take into account all these sources of errors. In our computer simulations, the copters are shown as purple circles and white arrows indicate their actual velocities. With a suboptimal choice of the parameters, the motion is irregular. However, if the system is tuned well, oscillations disappear and the desired flight patterns emerge. The quadcopters follow a so-called informed individual that leads them along a predefined trajectory. This time, the drone playing the role of the leader is semi-autonomous. It is controlled by a program to move along a given route but it makes autonomous decisions to avoid collisions. Actual GPS track records of the flight are shown in the animation for better visualization of the process. This is the case of the simplest hierarchical control. It has two levels only, leaders and followers. Extension to multi-level hierarchical control, what was observed for pigeons, for example, has a great potential and it is a very promising future direction. A number of possible collective flight patterns are reproduced by our flock of drones. It is possible to define imaginary soft walls that are not penetrable by the robots. If the wall is cylindrical or it is a rectangle around the flock, then the flock moves along a self-organized semi-random trajectory. If there are obstacles in the way and there is only a narrow gap they can move through, then the robots show signs of jamming. Drones are most commonly associated with war, terrorism and cyber attacks, but drones can be used in more peaceful civil applications as well. In the century of global warming, low-cost environmental or agricultural monitoring is a must. With a flock of drones, you can create a self-organized monitoring system from the air without any disturbance on the species, animals or plants that you are observing. But drones can be used in many other applications. You can assist rescue operations, create ad hoc communication networks, or you can even deliver food or mail. Our future is most probably overwhelmed with drones, and it is our responsibility how we use them. Indeed, studying the flock of robots, of drones, has allowed us to understand much better the group flight of uh, birds, for example. It is by now clear that the reaction times between the units have to be extremely short, in order to maintain coherent motion. And in, that, in addition to that, the units have to be able to predict the next move of the others to maintain the high level of coherence.